Let's start with some numbers. Have a look at this figure. These numbers are actually the birth weights of a sample of 100 babies measured in grams. We call these numbers sample data. This data arise from the variable birth weight. To state the bluntly obvious, the variable is something whose values can vary. Other variables could be blood types, age, parity, and so on. The values of these variables can change from one individual to another. When we measure a variable, we get data. In this case, variable birth weight produces birth weight data. Another example, this figure contains more sample data. In this case, for the gender of the same 100 babies. Moreover, this, the third one, contains sample data for the variable smoked while pregnant. Yes or no? The data in all of these three figures are known as raw data because they have not been organized or arranged in any way. This makes it difficult to see what interesting characteristics or features of the data might contain. The data counts tell its story, if you like. For example, it is not easy to observe how many babies had low birth weights, less than 2,500 grams from the first figure, or what proportion of babies was, uh, was females from the second one. Moreover, this is for only 100 values. Imagine uh, how much more difficult it would be for 500 or 5,000 values. The next lessons we will discuss a number of different ways that we can organize data um, so that can tell its story then we can see more easily what's going on. Of course we gather data not because it is nice to, uh, to look or we have got nothing better to do but because we want to answer a question. A question such as do babies of mothers who smoked while pregnant have different, we are probably guessed lower, birth weight than the babies of mothers who uh, didn't smoke? Or, on average, do males babies have the same birth weight as females babies? Later in this course, we will deal with methods which you can use to answer such questions and one more complex. However, for now we need to stick with variables and data. There are two major types of variables, categorical variables and metric variables. Each of them can further divide into two types. Each of these variables types produces a different type of data. The differences of these data types are for great importance. Some statistical methods are appropriate for some types of data but not for another. And applying an inappropriate procedures can result in misleading outcome. It is therefore critical that you identify the sort of variables and data you are dealing with before you beginning the analysis. And we need therefore to examine the differences in data types in a bit more detail.